so welcome back guys i'm here with you to teach you unity and um, how to do stuff in unity uh, and uh, today i'm going to show you how to make your 2d character jump or move and stuff like that so let's get started with it now i have just imported this and this this is my scene so i have imported my character and my area on which he is going to stand that's what you say i don't know so these are from my games if you played you might notice it so i am just going to set up this paddle over here and just uh, going to reset its transform and i'm just going to drag it little bit down that's okay then i'm just going to add it collider 2d physics box collider it will automatically detect its height and width and then you want to just give it a ground tag and you can't see here ground tag then you just have to add it i just did like this and uh, add it like g r o u n d uh, and it will not save the same name so i am adding it like ground 1 and i will be using ground one for this so hit enter to save it pretty much it for paddle i just added ground one tag over there that's pretty much it for paddle then now we are going to set up our character so just drag it in, in here scene reset the transform and drag it a bit down and here you have to add 2d physics rigid body then add component in 2d physics box collider and you don't need any tag for this guy and then you can just collapse the menu and then you need to add like new script here so new script and like let's call it move or jump okay jump j u m p and hit enter to create it then i'm just going to open it in visual studio uh, define some variables first is move speed so that's going to be float p u b l i c f l o a t move m o v s p e d and this uh, let's initialize it in start method um, s p e e d equals 10 and 10f is a good value yeah then a uh, boolean variable that is going to be false by default uh, that will check uh, that we will use it for checking if it's uh, touching the ground or it's not touching the ground so is okay wait p u b l i c b o l is g r o u n d e d is grounded nan call and so let me see it and then you need to initialize it okay sorry i just missed here a curly brace or oh, semicolon if you can say then is grounded g r o u n d e d e will be equal to false f a l s e okay what the from and semicolon and on collision c o collision enter 2d and collision 2d 2d uh, collision and that's going to be it for then we have to add if statement in it if c o l l i s i o n collision dot collider uh, tag t a g equals uh, remember that tag we gave to the um, uh, uh, the uh, thing uh, paddle uh, that tag you have to type it in g r o u n d 1 so it will detect the grammar and here if oh where is my cursor yeah and uh, here if you just use uh, collision game object dot tag 
it will still work fine but collider and it, yeah it will work fine with both of this collider and game object so then you have to just do it is trouundd uh, is equal to true true so that's it for this method and this method will be uh, will get called when uh, your character hits an object and it will check for the tag of the object and will just set the value equals true and now uh, i want to add one more method on collision co lol exit 2d make sure that's exit not enter and just copy paste the same code except this time we will just make it false because it's exiting the uh, uh, collider now f e l s e and then in update method you need to add if is grounded and and input dot get gt get button down and we just have to give it string jump j u m p that will detect if the player's jump button is pressed or not uh, you can change it in startup i guess you can just change the jump button to any button on keyboard but when you have a uh, builded version of the game so here what you have to do is game object object dot get component and here i will get rigid body 2d and function brackets and then here you want to get it and add force that's the method in there and you have to give it wait yeah and you have to give it new n a w v vector 2 x and y so x will be 0 and y in our case will be 4 4 is high enough and then I need to give it a force mode 2d dot impulse so that will just uh, give it a pulse of jump uh, or velocity and it will jump and and this is for the jump uh, for movement i will just tell it later tell you later i'm just gonna see if it uh yep it's loading it's loading and this is for jump as you can see i can jump as normal but i can't move hey i can't move why so i have to add it over there and uh, here you can make like vector or three you have to make vector three and move m o v e is equal to new vector three um input and p u t dot but get axis the same you have to get axis horizontal axis for movement left and right movement that's o r s o n t a l make sure you write the spelling correctly yeah and um, zero f and zero f yeah that's move and you need to change the transform position of the object so transform dot p o s i t r y yeah 
इज इक्वल प्लस इक्वल टू प्लस इक्वल टू मूव एम ओ वी ई इन टू योर मूवमेंट स्पीड एट फर्स्ट वी इज एस डिक्लेडेड एम ओ वी स्पीड and then you just have to make a frame rate independent so t i m e dot delta time and this is for movement and and yeah so this is the speed this thing over here i just told you i don't s p e u d yeah here if i just save this thing and head back to unity as you can see if my spellings are correct i can move and this is like super fast uh, okay it's out of control but uh, as you can see it just fell off like that so to fix that problem i have a solution if you don't want to turn your character and so you just have to freeze in rigid body constants and freeze rotation you have to check mark here put a check mark here okay wait wait not while it's running when it stop running yeah now as you can see it will not tilt over it he will not tilt over okay it didn't tilt it over and you can just change the speed if it's not getting control so and this is the source code i will paste it in description or you can just copy it and paste it so that's pretty much it for today or for jumping and movement